<laughs> Good morning. We're a part of the celebration right here at the Whole Waitery, and I have one of the stellar employees here at the Whole Waitery. This is Adam. Yes. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Adam has been blooming white here in the Antelope Valley for a while. You were born and raised here. Yes. 26 of my 30 years have been in this Antelope Valley. Mm hmm. And just falling in love with it more and more? Yeah. It's a good place. It's home. Home, sweet. Yeah, home. Family's here. Family is here, love is here, the desert weather can't be beat, can it? That's true, we do have nice weather here, Southern California. He's got the hemp down here, so. <laughs> got the hemp. <laughs> Discover what your hemp is for, people. <laughs> excellent. Got your omegas, your fiber, your protein. And it's an excellent plant to grow. A complete grow protein. On the planet. It's an excellent plant to grow on the planet. It has amazing medicinal purposes. Textiles. Actually, the shirt is hemp. Is a hemp it product. Is. So uh, we're looking more into utilizing hemp as a viable fuel source. Everything. Fuel, yeah. Clothing, everything. Um, yeah, basically, you can use it any way you can use cotton, you can use hemp mm -hmm. and wood as well. Mm -hmm. So, and it's, it renews a lot quicker than the trees. Mm. There you go. I knew he'd know about it. <laughs> Adam, tell us how you became involved with the whole weedery. Um, I started off as a personal trainer. Always been interested in the health field and nutrition and no better way than to come here and actually tell the people about it firsthand. How good it is, you know. Stay away from the doctors by eating healthy. There you go. Food is our medicine yep. and medicine is our food. If you're eating properly, there's no need for medicine. Yep. This is preventative medicine. Preventative medicine. And, and so this is your, here at the celebration at the Whole Waitery's 30th anniversary. Yep. This is what you're going to showcase. Yep. It's the hemp products and what they're One of the for. many, but yep, hemp <laughs> is, is one of the best products you could use. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Everybody should be part of their daily routine to be using hemp. Isn't that something like a, like the chia seed? Exactly. Chia. But it's even better because it's... Even it's, better? Well, because well, it's a complete protein. It has all the essential amino acids to make it a complete protein. Pumpkin seeds do as well, but a lot of the other seeds don't have all the essential amino acids to make them a complete protein. So that's that calls that name to the superfood then, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, uh -huh. Exactly. And so do you it's use like a chia seed? You, you soak can. it? You, you sprinkle can, it? You, you can put it on anything basically. You can put it in a salad, smoothies, um, on top of any food that you would put. Your um, you know, chia, flax, um, can I take a packet and put it in my Vitamix smoothie? Definitely. Okay, which one would you recommend? Um, you could do this one. Mm -hmm. This has got your, um, this is just the protein from the hemp right here. It's got 15 grams of protein in four tablespoons. It's also got seven grams of fiber. You're not gonna find a higher um, fiber content in any of this. And this is mango, tango, raspberries. Oh, that's just that's, a yeah, recipe exactly. for it. But now with this beautiful weather, we have a lot of wind. And when I started to <laughs> ride my scooter, I would wake up the next morning and just be so congested in here. And it educated me to become more aware of what I was ingesting throughout my scooting around. Mm -hmm. And this big mop of hair that I have ha catches everything. It's springtime, you see everything's blooming, the lilacs, the irises, the trees. Oh yes. And the first thing I pull out is that neti pot. And so I come over here, this is the section in the whole weedery that carries the neti pot, and you can see. We're sold out. That it's time out of stock. <laughs> <laughs> they normally are down here, though. Yes, it's a little pot. Looks like a little ceramic teapot. And then you put the, the, the salt in it, the special salt. And you rinse your nasal out with it. You just And it's just an amazing rinsing out. And, and it's such a respect for this area of the body, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, that's your first line of defense. Your first line of defense. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Inhaling through the nose, what you're swallowing. If you start to feel just icky in here, you better do something because... Well, yeah, you get all that mucus built up in there, which traps the allergens, the viruses, the bacteria. So if you're not cleaning all that out, more susceptible to illness, mm -hmm. infection. This is similar to the neti pot. It goes up and it does a similar action. It is good for cleaning out the sinuses. Mm -hmm. And they're even saying for the flu too. So this is a more of a portable one. Mm -hmm, exactly. Easy to travel. Yeah, more is of a modern design on it. Or no, you clean it out actually. It is. You use it over and over again. It is all plastic though. So. And then it has the pre-measured saline pads right in this one right here. But uh, in the desert air, I, I haven't 
stopped using it. Mm -hmm. It's just I'm using it more now that spring has sprung. Well, and if you're going to your ear, you know, your ear, nose, and throat doctors, this is going to be the first thing they recommend definitely for your allergies. No mm -hmm. drugs, no side effects. It won't make you sleepy like the Benadryls and all that. Mm -hmm. So. And it's just clearing this out. You know, I was, I was a freak about that flavored milk for probably 15 years. Mm -hmm. I would have hazelnut flavored milk in my coffee. I had more milk than coffee in that. And I really it just felt like over time that was just packing me in here and just all it <laughs> and, the, oh. and once you start to clear it out it's just so uh it feels good inside your head mm -hmm. you feel the pressure just get released from your sinuses <laughs> you do and i think that's what most of us experience is this slow downward slope uh, away from well-being. We don't mm -hmm. even know how crummy we really feel. It's we just know thing. we don't it's feel a, good. It's a slow, slippery slope, like you said. It's a slow decline. So mm -hmm. Slow decline, and we can notice it through how much weight we're putting on or how well we're sleeping, uh, how much energy we have during the day. Energy is key. Uh, your elimination, if you're not eliminating. Sweat is a release. Breath is mm -hmm. a release. So isn't it natural that people put on a lot of weight as they get older? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> No. Thank you. <laughs> your metabolism naturally will decline, but right. that is no reason you should be putting on weight. It means you adjust your intake and you adjust how much activity you have in your day. Yeah. Do people not pay attention? Well, I just think don't think we're informed enough, you know. Um, and, 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 education you know, is key. <coughs> Getting the word out. And that's what we do here at The Whole Weedery. Yeah. We educate. We yeah. educate and we empower. We remind you that you have options. You know, you're wealthy when you remember you have options. None mm -hmm. of us are trapped. We have options. We can adapt and overcome. Mm -hmm. We sure can. So, um, there you go. I guess that's it for this part, Anna. Well, thank you. You're a, a pleasure talking to you guys. You'll be seeing <laughs> yourself on YouTube. Oh, yay. <laughs>